As the pandemic of COVID-19 is hitting everyone hard across the globe, organisations need to be prepared for employees to work remotely from homes and quarantined areas. We've seen how organisations in the past have been impacted by those unexpected snow days where employees can't get to the place of work and have to work remotely. However, it's not just the corporate systems that have come under strain. For example, not having enough VPN capacity to cater for the above average deluge of connections. Today, a lot of services that employees use reside in the cloud and can be accessed without connecting via VPN. If a corporate asset is on a public or private network without a VPN connection, then its risk is somewhat increased to the local networks it resides on. Many organisations already support remote working capabilities for those who travel or have the capability to work from home. But for those who are not used to working from home, reintroduces some security challenges. Home networks today have a high number of Internet of Things connected to them, introducing new risk to corporate devices, such as media players, speakers, smart home devices, as well as those gaming consoles and home laptops. Shared accommodation or working in areas where others could have readily access to the corporate device, such as children, spouses or other tenants in the property, pose an increased risk. Organisations need to be ensuring these devices are secured when not used by enforcing locked screen savers. And if we start to see schools close, more people in the house could increase the bandwidth usage, resulting in poor connectivity for work purposes or even exceed any bandwidth limits imposed by ISPs. These are just some of the areas where increased security awareness needs to be enforced. Employers should take additional steps to educate their employees about their surroundings when working remotely. Ensure that they are not sharing their hardware with others in the premises and employers taking responsible steps and actions to make sure the employee is equipped with the support that is required to ensure they can work from home. Organisations too need to ensure that remote devices receive the same level of support as they would on the corporate network, such as patches, application updates, antivirus software, amongst other things. As well as the common threats and attacks out there, there has been an increase of attackers taking advantage of this viral pandemic. Security researchers have discovered fake COVID-19 sites showing statistics and maps but behind the scenes are harvesting personal data and dropping malicious payloads which could lead to compromising systems. Phishing emails are now circulating that contain fake health advice, inland revenue refunds and fake information about school closures. What parent wouldn't be tempted to click on such links? So, in summary, the attackers will take advantage of human nature. Everyone on the planet is talking about coronavirus, speculating what will happen, criticising governments, companies and other organisations. So why wouldn't it be any different for hackers to have their say?